Okay, welcome guys. So I've got ZBrush uh, 2020 on my machine now. So I just wanted to do a quick um, test of some of the UV layout functions that this um, new version has got. Uh, such as we can actually sculpt on the UVs and we can also paint textures directly onto UVs as well, which could be very, very handy. Also, you'll notice that if I turn the polyframe on here, we've got this new gadget that allows us to flick around the views, which is kind of cool. And also we get a silhouette view, which is also very good for sculpting. OK, so um, pretty similar. There are a few extra buttons for painting things like alphas we're not going to get into that yet um, and also we've got this ability to paint and tile texture onto a uh, uv surface so i've got this simple sphere here so what i'm going to do is come into the plugins and i'm just going to just do a quick unwrap so i've got uvs on this now so obviously i've got no subdivision levels on this so i can actually come here and i can click flatten and it's going to give me a flattened uh, view and that's in my uv tile there and what is great about this at this stage is I can paint on it, but it's still based on that resolution that you've got. So I'm going to come back out of this, um, just unflatten it there, and I'm going to add some subdivision levels so that I can maintain some detail when I start to paint on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is just going to put it into this lighter blue color. I'm going to come into RGB and make sure RGB intensity is 100%. Go to color and fill object. That way when I move this, it's actually now got paint applied to this. So what I can do is I can actually come down to here now and I can subdivide this. So I can start to subdivide this up. Now, when you subdivide it up, you're no longer going to be able to flatten this out because obviously it's got subdivision levels. But however, we can come down to the UV down here and we can put some details. So I'm going to divide it to subdivision level five, which is going to give me approximately uh, 280,700, which should be enough to maintain the detail that I want. And we're going to come down to the UV map and I'm going to set a map size of 2K. So I'm just clicking 2K there. You can go up to uh, 4K. You can even go up to 8K by dragging the slider. I'm going to put it on 2K. Uh, you've also got a bump map, um, visual bump map slider that, that um, shows you how much, but we don't have to worry about that at the moment because I'm first of all going to texture this so I'm going to click morph UVs this is going to flatten this um, out to a flat UV I'll just turn floor off and now what I've got here is I've actually got a flattened piece now obviously I'd want it straight on so I'm going to click it there and I'm going to come in and grab a texture so I've got a texture already loaded here and I've got my drag rectangle I've also put on um, symmetry but I'll turn symmetry off by turning X or coming up here and deactivating so now what I can do is I can take this tile and notice that I have the add turned on so I'm actually morphing this now if we look at this you can see that you can see that morph in there you can see how much you pushed it up now I don't want that on there so I'm gonna press Control Z flatten this back up we're going to turn Z add off so I've just got RGB on so now I'm going to drag this back up let's drag it over so it's nice and big like that actually it's a bit too big I'll just put it in here that's good all right something like that so now if I click the morph UVs as if by magic I've actually laid that texture straight on to our model but what is also great about this is we can actually sculpt as well. So if I turn this off, um, just turn that texture off so we're not, we're not seeing it, and I go back to Morph UVs, what I can do is I can use a brush and we can actually put something on here. So I'm gonna go on here. I'm just gonna go to my standard bass brush freehand. I'm gonna turn the texture off. And I'm just going to start to, oh, hold on, need to turn RGB off and Z add on. And I'm just going to start to draw on the model like this. I'm also pressing the Alt key to push in all the standard tools that you would normally use. Now I can hit the Morph UV and we've got this modeled into here. Now I'm not quite sure of how I'm going to use this, but I'm sure there's tons of things like laying um, alpha maps across it and things like that and laying these things flat. And that could be very effective. And you can actually see that 
bump value in there. And what I think um, ZBrush is doing is it's creating a kind of flattened bump map and it's showing you it. So you can see there. So you could always go into here, grab one of these alphas, go into one of these, and you could start putting some little bits over it, flattening it off. And of course, you know, if you wanted to paint on this as well, we could come in, grab a color, let's put it into a red. I'll just turn the color on there. Now I can start to pull out some patterns here. So I've sculpted, this is all in flat. And then I just hit the Morph UV and there we go. So I think this is gonna be quite a powerful feature. I mean, being able to actually texture and actually sculpt into flattened UVs is just excellent. So that's my little tutorial on ZBrush 2020. So uh, stay tuned for more because I'm going to feature a lot more of these things in lessons coming up very soon.